Hey guys, Wet Movie one back here again for another Blu-ray DVD update video for you guys today. It's been about two weeks or so since my last one. Got a big old stack of awesomeness here to talk to you guys about today. But before I get started with it, please give this video a thumbs up if you guys like my videos. Share them around on Facebook and Twitter if you guys, you know, support me in any way. But guys, let's get on to the first one here from Scream Factory. Very excited to talk about this one, man. I, I've always really liked this film. It's over the top and cheesy. It stars Dennis Miller and Corey Feldman and that is Tales from the Crypt, Bordello of Blood here on Blu-ray. Uh, this is a, a, such an over-the-top movie. Um, it's pretty much about Dennis Miller's character who's a private detective. Uh, at the beginning of this film, uh, a young woman comes to him for, her, for help because her brother went missing at the beginning of this movie. And it's up to Dennis Miller to try to figure out you know, where her brother went, why he disappeared. But come to find out, as he gets dives deeper and deeper into the case, he finds out that uh, his, you know, her brother, played by Corey Feldman, has been sucked into this group of vampires uh you know in there's in the small town you know in this uh you know old uh you know mortuary kind of place and as him just you know trying to figure out what he's going to do with all these crazy vampires that are running all over the place you know taking people you know from the small town and um it's actually a really fun crazy movie i've always really liked it i remember renting it on vhs back in the day just multiple multiple times along with the, the one i'm going to show you guys next but i'm um, on this blu-ray here guys you get a hand full of new special features, audio commentary tracks, you also, you also get a behind the scenes special feature on here with the cast and crew and talking to you about their experience on making the movie and how it wasn't the most pleasant films that they have ever been on. You know what I mean? Like all the like the trials and tribulations that they had making this movie. You get Corey Feldman in there, a lot of the other cast members just talking about how awful it was, you know, kind of ma making this movie um, and how like Dennis Miller was just like, just like a real pain in the butt to work with on set he got paid a million dollars but he never really stayed on script and like he always kind of said he always kind of said and did what he want and they did what he wanted and he wasn't even really a big superstar you know at that time and i don't even think he's really even a big superstar now to be honest but like to me in this movie he comes off really funny and i i really liked him in here but uh Cor of course Corey feldman was in here from the goonies been a big fan of his for many many years uh you also get a theatrical trailer on here the still galleries and the cool thing is here you also get the original artwork uh, that the original DVD or the original poster art had uh, you know on there it, it's just a really really fun cheesy movie it's a it's a bad movie but it's bad in a good way if you know what I'm trying to say but that's a uh, bordello of blood here on blu-ray I say it looks great on uh, in 1080p and the next one up here is my personal favorite uh, you know uh, of the two movies that are made from tales from the crypt I know there was three but I forgot what the third one was but this is tales from the crypt presents Demon Knight here on Blu-ray. Uh, this one stars Billy Zane from Titanic and uh, what's his name again? William Sadler. And in this film, we're, William Sadler plays this drifter who's, who, you know, who, who just wanders into this small town in the middle of nowhere. and he, But he's being chased. He's running away from some really bad guy that's trying to kill him and trying to, trying to do something really bad to him. And, you know, he, uh, William Sadler takes up shop, you know, um, in this, you know, kind of crappy run-down hotel in, in this small town. Just to try to get away from this evil guy that's chasing him but come to find out William Sadler's character you know ha has this special key that th th that this one demon guy played by uh what's his name again Billy Zane wants from him because Billy Zane's a demon and de you know he needs the seventh key and this whole the whole thing because what William the, the key that William Sadler has is the key to save all humanity and uh it's him that's trying to do what he can to keep the keep humanity alive and I, I always found this one to be be very very entertaining to me because I like movies like I always say in my updates that take place in one location and uh, this movie mostly takes place in this one rundown hotel and uh, to be honest I think this is my favorite Billy Zane movie you know what I mean right next to Titanic I don't think there's really anything else I can say off the top of my head that Billy Zane has ever done that I'm like I've liked him in that you know what I mean but uh, that's the uh, Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight looks amazing on Blu-ray you get a multiple audio commentary tracks you get a, a behind the scenes special featurette presented by red shirt pictures on this film also which i believe was like 35 to 40 minutes long stuff it's actually really kind of a decent blu-ray if you're a fan of this movie definitely upgrade your old dvd because you get all better special features you know on this new one here and uh, next up over here from Universal is a movie I wanted to see in theaters because this looks really cool. You know what I mean? But I, I, I didn't get a chance to see it until I got the Blu-ray here. And that is the, from Universal is Dope, 
uh, here on Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy combo pack. And it's pretty much about this, uh, this young kid named, uh, Ma Malcolm, who, he, who lives in the, who lives in the inner city. And, uh, he's a super nerd. But he's a super nerd when it comes to 90s hip hop. You know what I mean? Like today's hip hop, he doesn't care. It's all about 90s hip hop, 90s hip hop culture and clothing and things like that. And he has these two friends that are geeks just like him that are into the same stuff. And until one day, uh, he, he gets mixed up with this one drug dealer and, uh, he, he gets all these drugs shoved into his backpack that he know, he doesn't know about until, a, a, until a, like a day or so later. And it's him trying to figure out what he's going to do with his friends, you know, what is he gonna do with this dope? Because you know, one one person's gonna kill him if he sells it. The other per you know, some other somebody else is gonna kill him if he doesn't give it to somebody else. It's 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 just a really fun fun movie with him trying to figure out what he's gonna do with this big backpack full of dope. And you know, being like a super nerdy, smart, smart, probably smartest guy in school, you know, kind of guy. And it's just what what these uh, kids, you know, this little small adventure that these young guys go on. And I thought I thought it was a really fun movie. You know, like upbeat, really fun kind of flick and. I recommend anybody got any of you guys out there check this one out if especially if you're in the hip-hop and you know 90s hip-hop like NWA and things like that you guys would definitely get a kick out of this movie we highly recommend it it's a really really fun really really cool movie I don't know I can't really say much more about it it's just really fun I really go check it out guys and uh, next up over here from Universal also is a is part five to a franchise of films that I really love and adore except for number four I, I can really you know, take it or leave it. But this is uh, Tremors 5 Bloodlines here on Blu-ray. But in this one, it follows Burt Gummer, the main guy, you know, from all the Tremors films. The guy that's into, you know, the guns and blowing up the graboids and, you know, taking out, th you know, taking out all the, you know, ass blasters and things like that. It follows him now a couple years after the last film. Um, he he pretty much defeated, he, he thinks he defeated pretty much all the graboids and all the, you know, the creatures and things. So now he's like filming his own reality show, kind of like a Animal Planet kind of show, showing people how to live in the wild and things like that. Until this one guy, uh, you know, eccentric guy comes up to him saying, hey, uh, there's these, you know, graboids, ass blasters that are, you know, running, running wild all over South Africa. And I need you to come down to South Africa to help me take care of these guys, you know, help me take care of this problem that's, you know, that's going down over there and so he decides to go down to South Africa with his sidekick his new cameraman played by Jamie Kennedy to go down the new, to South Africa to, to help, help help them with their problem and I found this movie to be really cool man it's not as cool as number you know the first two or first three Tremors films but it's definitely you know a notch above the fourth one that that was a straight to DVD title I think only the first three went to theaters from what I, from what I remember but they're just a lot of fun man like the you know what I mean from like the special not not the special effects are kind of weird but you know just like the vibe of the whole movie it's just cool you know what i mean especially if you guys have seen the tremors movies you know what i'm trying to say here but uh, this is also jamie kennedy's movie that he did right after he did the movie bro what happened that i you know that i was in with him uh this is the movie he did right after that it's, but if you guys are a fan of the tremors films give this one a chance it's, like i said it's not the best one in the franchise but it's definitely not the worst one all right guys and next up from disney is a film i've been really looking forward to checking out it stars george clooney and that is tomorrowland here on blu-ray um it's pretty much about this young girl named Casey, teenage girl. Uh, one night she gets arrested and she, as she's in jail, she's getting out and getting her belongings back. She gets all her belongings back, but it also has this little pin in there. And she's like, this is not mine to the cops. And, you go, and the cops go, hey, it was, in, it was in with your things. So she ends up taking it with her. And as soon as she touches this, this pin, she gets transported, you know, to this mystical land that she has, she has no idea what it, you know, this place is. And as soon as she lets go of the pin, she She's back, you know, on Earth, and every time she touches the pin, she gets she keeps getting transported to this other world, and it's her just trying to figure out what what, what is this pin and what what is it you know what does it mean and what is it uh, you know what, why does she, why does she have it now? She finds out that George Clooney is another person that has a pin that does the same thing, and it's them you know just trying to figure out what the hell they're gonna do because George Clooney has been to this other world before, you know, as a child and you know, and has lived there, and it's just them trying to figure out what the hell is going on and why are they, why were they chosen to get this pin? That's all I can really say about the movie without ruining it for you, but it's just a really fun, imaginative film that 
I really fell in love with, man. There's a couple of little, like, plot things in here that I didn't quite understand. You know, when I was watching it going, wait, how does that mix in? How does that go with this thing that's happening over here? You know, kind of thing. But maybe it's just I, I wasn't, you know, concentrating on it. It's just a ma beautifully shot film. It's directed by Brad Bird. Uh, I believe the same guy that did Ghost Protocol. And it's just a very, very fun and imaginative film. And if you guys want to see something a lot, of, a lot different than your average Hollywood mumbo-jumbo, Definitely check out uh, Tomorrowland here on Blu-ray. It looks absolutely amazing. You get a handful of uh, special features on here like deleted scenes, making ofs, you know, the, the average stuff that you get on Blu-rays these days. But man, what an imaginative film. I really, really fell in love with this one, guys. And this next one up from Sony is a film that I've been really wanting to see ever since the trailers came out. Because one, I'm a big Adam Sandler fan ever since, you know, Happy Gilmore and, you know, Billy Madison back in the day. And this movie right here got panned by so many people, so many reviewers, and it has Adam Sandler, and it has, you know, old school retro video game, you know, characters in here, like Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, and I'm like, this movie's cool, this movie's gonna be awesome, and that movie is called Pixels here on, uh, on Blu-ray, and, uh, it's pretty much, uh, this, I'm gonna give you a quick little story on this one, it's pretty much about, uh, the alien ra uh, you know, Earth sends, uh, the aliens uh, race a, a, a signal and they misinterpret it and think that the humans are going to be doing something bad or going on the attack. So they end up sending down Pac-Man you know, Pac and uh, Donkey Kong down to Earth to wipe out humanity just because they uh, just a misunderstanding. And uh, man, this movie was really kind of cringeworthy. You know what I mean? Like I had some funny moments in here with... Uh, What's his name again? Uh, Peter Dinklage, the guy from Game of Thrones and stuff. He's he's really kind of funny in this movie. But just a lot of the writing seemed kind of rushed. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't seem like they really flushed out the whole idea, you know, before they went into it. You know what I mean? Like, they had the characters that, you know, we all like and stuff. Like I said, Donkey Kong and Pac-Man and things. But... It was just, it, it just didn't really feel believable to me at all. You mean like seeing Kevin James as a president? It doesn't, it doesn't really work with me. Even now, even now, you know, in the world we live in, even Donald Trump is running for president. Well, that's a whole, that's like a whole different, you know, day, a whole different kind of video for me talking about Donald Trump and that whole thing. But uh, Pixels, man, I, it's, it's not one of the Adam Sandler's best ones whatsoever. Uh, dialogue is kind of weak. They could have, you know, had just stronger comedy elements in here, but they just didn't have it. Um, it looks amazing here on Blu-ray. Has, of course, you know, the same old special features that you, you know, you come to expect from things like this. But if you guys like Adam Sandler, this is probably one of those ones you want to rent first before you buy, especially if you haven't seen it yet, like at your local Redbox or something. It has a cool little slip cover here, but that's Pixels here on Blu-ray. And uh, next up over here from Warner Brothers is a movie I seen in the theater with my buddy Drew, and that is uh, San Andreas here, the 3D Blu-ray, Blu-ray DVD combo pack here. Uh, in this movie, you know, uh, The Rock plays this helicopter, uh, you know, rescue pilot guy, you know, guy that rescues people. And um, at the beginning of this movie, there's this big earthquake that happens, and it's pretty much him getting his wife and trying to go find where his daughter is and, you know, save his daughter's life along with all the, you know, all these other people that he can along the way. And, uh, because like the what's it called the San Andreas Fault is you know cracked open or whatever and starting up these big earthquakes. It's kind of like the movie 2012 and Deep Impact. It's kind of like one of those you know disaster movies. So like you kind of know what you're getting into like a cheesy action movie. It's one of those things like you just know what's gonna happen in it. You know what I mean? But like I had fun. I had fun with this movie. The effects are cool. Uh, the Rock is always awesome in the in, in pretty much anything he does these days. And of course we got the 3D version here, which looks really cool on Blu-ray. Really pops out at you when buildings are falling and things and on this blu-ray here you get audio commentary track by the director uh drain johnson to the rescue it's like you know making of featurettes and things but if you guys want to see the, a, a fun dis cheesy disaster flick on blu-ray definitely get this one man it's, it's 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 not the best disaster movie on on the planet but it was it was fun all right guys and next up over here from warner brothers also is a film i really didn't like very much when i saw it in the theater but i wanted to give it a second chance here on blu-ray and that is the gallows here this movie is pretty much about this one school 20 years ago they're putting on this play and in the middle of this play this one kid gets killed and hung on stage in front of everybody that's watching this watching the play and now it's 20 years later the same school is putting on that 
that same production in memory of what happened 20 years ago and just one a couple of a couple of jocks uh, that are at this school are being forced into being being part of this play and, and uh, until one day the night before the sh the night before the, the play opens for the school uh, the jocks and a couple of their friends break into the school to tear down the set to to make to make sure the show doesn't go on so they don't get embarrassed in front of their friends on stage and as soon as they, they break into the school all hell breaks loose a spirit a spirit of the kid that died in the school is there and taking the kids out one by one and that's pretty much the synopsis on this one guys um i gotta say i like the atmosphere of the movie like how it takes place in a you know in an auditorium where where plays put on because that's what i used to do back in high school and like elementary school and things i used to be in plays and i like that element of the of this movie but it's just definitely not as cool as, as a found footage movie as I would have liked it to be. I like stuff like Paranormal Activity and things, but like this one, guys, it's still, to me, I gave it a second chance, and it's it's still not the greatest, you know what I mean? But on this Blu-ray here, uh, you get the original ver version of the film uh, that was shot guerrilla style by the, the by, by the filmmakers before they, you know, presented it to Hollywood and Hollywood made the Hollywood version, you know, of their film. And that's kind of cool to get both versions, you know, of the gallows here on Blu-ray. But it's just not, it's just not a memorable uh, found footage film, to be honest, guys. It's just kind of like, eh. And uh, this next one up here is from Warner Brothers also. Very excited uh, that this one's now out on Blu-ray because I've always loved this movie. It stars Nicolas Cage and Sam Rockwell. And it's called Matchstick Men here on Blu-ray. It's about, uh, you know, two con men who go out just to make money by, you know, conning other people out of their money. Like, um, you know, going to, uh, t calling people on the phone saying they want a sweepstakes. But yet they have to buy something to actually, win, you know, go on these, you know, different trips and things. Until one of the con men finds out that he has a daughter and his daughter is now coming into his life and he's trying to figure out what he's going to do is he going to stay in the con game is he going to go out of the con game to take care of his daughter that he never really knew he had but yet in the meantime he's in the middle of one of the biggest cons of his life um this movie is just really kind of cool because in this movie then uh what's it called nicholas cage has these tics he's kind of obsessive compulsive and he's always like opening and closing doors multiple times washing his hands multiple times it's just one of those movies that's really character driven but now nicholas cage his character is just very very interesting to watch here. This is probably one of my favorite Nicolas Cage movies of all time next to, you know, Con Air. But this Blu-ray here looks fantastic. It has all the same special features that you got on the original DVD release of the film. I just want to let you guys all know it's out on Blu-ray here. And uh, these next two up here, you guys all know I just had to had to pick these ones up here on, on Blu-ray, man. I'm a big Jackie Chan fan. And that is Rumble in the Bronx here on Blu-ray. And bam! Jackie Chan's first strike here on Blu-ray. Uh, these movies have been released before overseas, but the first time over here in the States. But uh, if you guys have never seen Rumble in the Bronx, it's just a very, very action-packed, awesome movie. It's my, it's my, you know, favorite one of the two here. But it's pretty much about uh, the Jackie Chan's character of Keon, who who lives in Hong Kong, who's coming down uh, to to hang out with his uh, uncle that runs this, uh, you know, this little like little like market in the middle of uh, what's it called the Bronx in New York. And he him coming down to help out his, help out his uncle for a while until these these you know random street people are just causing ruckus, and it's Jackie Chan is taking out the bad guys. It's just a really fun movie. This is actually the movie that got, introduced me into Jackie Chan and his movies in the you know to begin with. And then I and after watching this, I you know watched like Super Cop, and then I started watching his older movies like Drunken Master, Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, you know, you know Shaolin Wooden Men. Like I didn't know who Jackie Chan was until this movie came out back in the early 90s. And uh, the cool thing is about these two new Blu-rays guys, these are their original versions uh, that came out here in the US that are, you know, uh, Jackie Chan, you know, actually dubbed over his own voice you know what I mean like some other versions that I know that are out there don't have Jackie Chan himself you know dubbing over his own voice for America and uh, in this one Jackie Chan plays a you know a Hong Kong detective who's on, you know, on this mission to you know follow this one you know follow this one woman to find out what she's up to what you know cr criminal activity she's she's up to and she's traveling on a plane to you know go you know go all over the place and this is him just trying to figure out what's going on and un uncover the mystery behind this woman what what she's actually you know involved in and of course the action you know along the way that's pretty much it the, the, the it's not really a whole 
you know, a hell of a lot of story in this, but it's just a lot of fun action with Jackie Chan, you know, doing his, his, you know, his own stunts and things, because I know he doesn't do those now, but I gotta say, Rumble in the Bronx, this is my favorite one, you know, of the two that were released of Jackie Chan's films, definitely pick up these, uh, two movies out now on Blu-ray, you can get them out, like, at, uh, Walmart for, like, seven eighty eight right now, and, uh, this next movie up right here is a movie I haven't seen in a long time since, like, it first came out on DVD, and that is 15 minutes here on, uh, Blu-ray, starring Ed Burns and Robert De Niro here. Uh, in this film, I believe Robert De Niro uh, plays this uh, like New York cop. Uh, he's on this. He's on. He's on the beat right now, trying to find out. You know who's committing these crimes in their town because there's these two criminals in town right now that are going around killing people and videotaping it because they want to become famous and it's Robert De Niro's character and Ed Burns' character I believe Ed Burns is like a fire marshal or whatever and it's them pairing up and trying to you know take down these bad guys and stop them from killing any more people and it's just it's just a really fun action thriller that I remember really liking back in the day and uh, it looks amazing here on Blu-ray you get all the same special features that were on the original DVD release ported over on this Blu-ray here so if you want to upgrade you can get rid of your old DVD and now get it on Blu-ray here but I just want to let you guys all know that this cool action thriller is now out on Blu-ray alright guys the next up over here is a really cool Blu-ray set a horror movie set and that is the horror classics of uh, volume 1 here on Blu-ray you get four classic Hammer horror films all on Blu-ray in this one set uh, together here. You get The Mummy, uh, The Taste of uh, Blood of Dracula, uh, Dracula Has Risen from the Grave, and Frankenstein uh, Must Be Destroyed here all on Blu-ray. Uh, all these films have been released separately on Blu-ray on the, you know, this past week. But if you guys don't know what Hammer horror films are, uh, Hammer was like a film uh, production company, or I think it still is, and uh, that, you know, kind of remade or revamped uh, the Universal Horror, Universal Monsters that came out back in like the 20s and 30s and things, and in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, uh, Hammer, Hammer Horror Films, uh, you know, try to re reinvigorate the Mummy, the Dracula, Frankenstein, and those monsters from back in the day, and get, you know, have their own fresh new take on, you know, all on the, on their Universal Monsters, and these are what these films are, and uh, they, the, most of these films star, uh, the, the great, uh, Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing, and uh, here, but the one I remember the most as a kid watching is the mummy one where you get uh, Christopher Lee playing the mummy character himself uh, you know going out protecting his princess and you know doing what his master tells him and of course you get Christopher Lee as Dracula in the Dracula films but if you guys have never seen these movies they're absolutely you know absolutely a must for you know ho horror fans out there and the cool thing is about this set guys that it comes all, all four films come in this little uh, you know, booklet here where you get like you know different artwork from the films. I'm not I'm not gonna show you every little thing on this, but like e each film you know has its own little you know picture and things, and they come in this little cardboard thing where you know the movie e easily slides out you know with different pictures and things in here. It's just a really really well together put set. So if you guys love ha Hammer horror films, I really suggest you know going out there picking this up because you get a, a good amount of special features you know on these Blu-rays here, all new uh, digital HD transfers of the film, which they look absolutely amazing on Blu-ray. The only one I haven't watched yet is the Frank, uh, Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed uh, here. But I can't wait to see what Warner Brothers has next because this is Volume 1. I wonder what they're going to put on Volume 2 of this uh, of this bad boy here. But I just want to let you guys all know that this horror classic, horror film, uh, Hammer Horror Collection is out now on Blu-ray. And uh, next up over here is a TV show that I've, I kind of wanted to see because I heard uh, semi-decent things about it. And it's called The Leftovers, the, the complete first season here on Blu-ray. And at the beginning of the show, a handful of people are disappearing you know a handful of different you know different people disappear actually two percent of the world's population disappears and it's you know what the people that are left on earth are doing and how they're handling what happened and this is them trying to you know figure out how to go on with life with you know different family members and friends that just up and disappeared not knowing where they went and some people think it could be the rapture uh you know other people think it, it could have been aliens you know that you know took took these people and, you know people are going nuts and not knowing what's going on and at the beginning of the show it takes place you know three years you know after you know all these people just randomly disappeared and it's just them you know people trying to figure out what they're going to do and it, it pretty much focuses on this uh you know the police the the cop or chief of the town 
and his family and what you know what they're doing and what he's getting involved with and things. It's really kind of a fun show. It's not like you know funny or anything. It's kind of it's just a kind of fun, entertaining show. It kind of has a vibe of like you know Stephen King. You know what I mean? It kind of like it felt like it's something like Stephen King would do. You know what I mean? Like the whole vibe and feel like the mist or like you know crazy stuff like that. I don't know. I, I really enjoy it so far. I only watched like three or four episodes of it, but you know what I mean. It's kind of it's kind of a slow start to a show, but it's 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 fun. And uh, next up over here is something I've never seen before or heard of, but when I saw it on DVD, I just had to get it. You know what I mean? Just because of the name and who's involved in it. And it's called Mike Tyson Mysteries Season One. Here, I didn't even know there was a TV show out. You know, of, of, of Mike Tyson, st starring Mike Tyson himself, man. Uh, it, it, I, and I read up on it and found out it's a show that's on Adult Swim. And uh, it's like these, these, there's like 10 episodes of season one here. It's only like, you know, 10 minute episodes. So you get 10, 10 minute episodes of this thing with Mike Tyson voicing himself in here. It's kind of like. Um, I can't really get into a story thing or anything, but it's kind of like watching Scooby Doo, the Scooby Doo Mysteries, but with, you know, Mike Tyson's character being like, you know, the main character of the show trying to solve mysteries at, at the beginning of each show you know he has this piece of paper that gets handed to him and it's him his daughter and like a ghost guy and this pigeon guy who's voiced by norm mcdonald you know going on this you know these different mysteries to solve them and things it's, it's really kind of funny and this is the uncensored version so you get like the bad words you know unbleeped and things and it's, it's really funny man it's like I was really surprised by how much I like this. You know what I mean? It's stupid and everything, but it's just really fun. You know what I mean? If you if you see this out there, definitely give it a chance. You know what I mean? I like Mike Tyson. You know what I mean? He's goofy. I don't know. It's kind of cool. If this thing, is, you know, I don't know. It's so stupid. I liked it. And uh, next up over here is a film I haven't seen in many years since the DVD came out or since I saw it in theaters actually. And I'm not gonna get into the story on this, but it's called Team America World Police here on Blu-ray. Uh, this is the, of course the follow-up film from Matt and Trey Parker, the people that created South Park and the the South Park movie. This is their follow-up follow-up film from, from you know South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. They came out, and of course, this is them you know poking fun at Kim Jong Il or Un or whatever his name was. Why army guys going there trying to take him out and things? It's just it's just a really fun you know a real funny kind of movie where you see all the strings and Mar you know marionettes you know as you know uh, film characters and things. And when I when I first saw it, I was it was really kind of hard to get into it while seeing the strings and the puppets and I don't know. But I, I over over the time over over the years I've come to love it a little bit more and more each time I see it. Uh, it's not my favorite thing. I love South Park and I love the South Park movie a lot more than this one. But I just want to let you guys all know this one's out on Blu-ray right here and has all the same special features the original DVD had and everything. And uh, this next one up right here is the classic film my dad showed me on VHS when I was a kid and fell in love with it since then. And it's Clint Eastwood in Escape from Alcatraz here on Blu-ray, man. Uh, in this film, it's about these two guys, two bank robber guys. One's played by, uh, you know, Clint Eastwood, the man himself. And, uh, you know, they, they get put into jail for, you know, robbing banks or whatever. Uh, him and his buddy uh, get put into Alcatraz, which is a prison that's on water next to San Francisco. So if you try to escape, you might be eaten by a shark. You know what I mean? You have to, like, swim, you know, through water to get to help, to, to, sa to, 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 to safety. And uh, it's just of him... In in Alcatraz trying to escape this unescapable kind of place. It's a really fun, uh, you know, uh, action thriller film that I've always really remembered watching with my father. It's just, you know, one of those ones, one of those movies that I, it's just more memorable to me remembering watching with him than the actual movie itself. You know what I mean? Like that. And I remember watching uh, the movie Daylight in Jurassic Park in the movie theater with my dad back in the day too. It's just, you know, memories. You know what I mean? That that makes me make me attached to certain films sometimes. And uh, this next film right here is a movie I haven't, you know, is a film I haven't seen in a very long time. I only popped in the Blu-ray in for like five, ten minutes to check, check out the picture quality on, on this one. So I don't, I'm not going get, to get into the story here. But that is Kiss the Girls here on uh, Blu-ray starring, you know, uh, uh, Morgan Freeman and Ashley Judd here on Blu-ray. Uh, of course, this is uh, the film that after after this film that came uh, along came a spider and things like that back in like the late '90s, er, early 2000s kind of thing. Uh, it's a really cool. It was a really fun action thriller film from what I remember back in the day. Morgan Freeman can do no wrong, you know, to me. But of course, you get all the same special features from the DVD on you know on this Blu-ray here also. So if you guys want if you guys want to upgrade the Blu-ray, definitely do so on this bad boy. All right, guys, and next up from Magnolia is a film I really wanted to see because I heard a lot of really good things about it. The do documentary film called The Wolf Pack here on Blu-ray. Uh, this movie is about these six brothers who, who, live in, who live in New York and have lived there all their lives, but... 
they've never really left their house. Their father and mother have told them to never leave the house because bad things can happen to you if you, you know, leave their house. And these guys are like, you know, turning 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, and they've never really went out except for like emergencies to go to the doctors or, you know, certain kind of things. But they've been really kept, you know, in this small apartment for all these years. And uh, the, only, the only glimpse that they have to the outside world is uh, through videos and DVDs and Blu-rays and things like that that their father is bringing in. And their big fascination, the only world that they have is movies. Like, you know, watching movies, re reenacting movies. And it's just really a really fun, you know, documentary that's really kind of sad at the same time because these guys have never really seen, you know, how it is to... You know, go out there to socialize with other people, except for socializing with with each other in their house and things, and not really be able to go out until the, so you have to watch this movie to find out what happens to these brothers. It's a very, very, very enthralling movie, especially if you're a really big film fan like me and a lot of you guys out there that are watching this video here. You guys are really, you guys are really like this documentary. It's sad cool and just kind of weird at the same time and uh next up over here from anchor bay is uh i spit on your grave three here on blu-ray uh of course this is a this is kind of sort of a sequel uh to the very first remake sequel the very first remake that came out back in the early uh a couple of years ago, starring Sarah Butler, and in this film it stars Sarah Butler also, a couple of years later, and she has these new friends, trying to start a new life, until she finds out one of her friends is like, you know, something really bad has happened to her, and she's going out, taking revenge on what happened to her friend and things, in the old crazy, you know, twisted, messed up ways that the Spit on Your Grave movies do. Uh, I thought this one was a decent sequel, but definitely better than the second one, because the second one kind of went into a different kind of territory, with like, make, you know, you know actually abusing and you know messing up messing with this one girl like in a different uh, state and things it was really kind of messed up uh, that's the second one but this one is still messed up too but it has the original actors from the original remake that came out and if you guys don't know this is a movie that was originally called day of the woman that came out in the 70s starring Camille Keaton uh, I would recommend watching the original film before you watch the remake movies that, that, that are out here but if you're a fan of the I spit on your grave movies or the remake ones also Check this one out, man. This is definitely a, a nice companion piece to the original remake that came out, man. I, I, I really kind of enjoyed it for, for what it was. I don't like rape. I don't like that kind of shit. But, I mean, for a horror film, it was it was really decent. And uh, last up over here uh, from Accelerator Media is a really interesting documentary that I, I got. And it's called Mateo. Um, it's about this one guy named Matthew. Uh, he, 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 he strives to be the best... Uh, you know, mariachi, you know, player on the in the, in the world. You know what I mean? Like, but he's a white he's a white guy. You know, living living in New York and going to Cuba and trying to record his album, his uh, his you know his first mariachi album, and he wants to make it big in the world of mariachi music. And he's very good at singing and everything. And he's and he's also obsessed with hookers and you know and strippers and women and things like that. And it's just a documentary following this weird awkward guy on his mission to to create an album to try to become a superstar. And I found this documentary to be really kind of entertaining. Uh, the guy, Matthew, the, the, the subject of this documentary is just a really interesting, weird, crazy kind of guy. And I, I can I could totally see why the filmmakers say, hey, I wanna make a documentary about this crazy weirdo. Cause this guy's been put into jail before for stealing. And he has all this, he has this, like a really crazy background. And when you watch when you watch this documentary, you'd be like, oh my God, this is, this guy's crazy out of his mind. But uh, that's Mateo here on Blu-ray, I mean DVD. I really liked it, man. I really like documentaries, to be honest. But guys, that's all I have to show you guys and talk about today uh, for this Blu-ray DVD update. And look at this. Big old stack of awesomeness here. Oh my god. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.